Could you describe life, existence, outside of time? Ah, let's put it this way. There is a silence that you can hear. There is a stillness and a joy. There is an intelligence without flaw. There's a beauty in just being. That's about the best I can do for you. People are there, or you can call them people. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Well, see, that's one of the problems I have here. Where I talk about people, personalities, and stuff. I know what we're saying, but I don't know what that means. Because what we're talking about, see, when you're talking about people, to me, you're talking about this. And there's a space outside of that where this is not meaningful. Individuals, awarenesses. Are right. There. Mm -hmm. there are, it is like, it is once again, the law. You have one body, but many cells comprise that body. They are the body of the one, they are the cells of the one body. But they all illusion the, the the boundaries that says I am me and you are you are is an illusion. But it's a nice illusion that we can keep if we like. And now here is a I realize a very small minded question. Okay. But I'm not asking it as the question. I'm asking it as what the question kind of points to, okay? So, because I've asked you, what is life like outside of time? Now I'm going to say something real stupid that sounds okay. like I never asked you that Be question. as stupid as you want to be. So what do they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I want you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point you back. You just said, ask me a question. What, what's life like outside of time? And then you use the word day. I know, I told you that, that's why I explained it, it's stupid, that's why I did it, but it's like, yeah, <laughs> B, you see, all things exist within you, all things exist within, and the observation and the experience of those things, and the creation of things. It's what we do all day. <laughs> so my question is the question you have mentioned about. It's like I'm here. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is the doing. Yeah, you... Uh, In terms of the questions I've asked yeah. you about why be here, why do something here. Well, see, the recognition here. that you want to make is that the recognition of you and you are what is what comes into this body. You're not the body. So the answer to the question is the recognition of yourself and what is it that you want to do while you're here. Because you're just being an expression of your spirit. Let's look at what you are removed, one time removed from the absolute of what you are. The entire universe, physical universe, is intelligent, okay? Is intelligence, not intelligent, but intelligence. It comes into this and animates this. So every atom, every, the smallest part of your being, of your body, is intelligence, okay? So what that intelligence is doing is whatever it 
desires to do to answer a question. And it may just be about its own creation. But you have to find that through the experience of being or the experience of doing. Does this make sense? That's what we do all day. All night, all day. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no Calypso song. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse got it. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Ask those questions of yourself. Come to the point where it's unanswerable, then answer it. Then answer it. When I say then answer it, because the thing that you will think is least, that will be least the answer, will be the answer. <laughs> we have to just think different. We have to come from a different perspective. You have within you the habit of thinking of yourself with the limitations of this, that you cease to exist outside these boundaries. Okay, but you exist within the boundaries and outside of the boundary itself. You are the intelligence that is the physical universe that comes into your being and you are the intelligence outside of the physical universe that is outside of the physical universe that is outside of the universe that is so fine it appears to be non-existent but all of this exists within you and all of that comes into you so the answer to the questions is when you change your perspective when you change your position and ask the question so I'm saying, accept the insane, insane answer. Because it's only insane because you think a certain way. You see what I'm saying? We say, that's weird, man. It's only weird because you think in a straight line and it's not in a straight line. The physicist says, every time you make a decision, to go a direction, you make another decision to go the opposite direction. And it's true. Because what you think of, of yourself is not the truth. You think of yourself as being an absolute in terms of the body, and it's not. It's an illusion. That doesn't mean it doesn't have form and mass, but the idea, whole idea of mass and form is an illusion. The whole idea of one reality is an illusion. The whole idea that you move from point A to point B is an illusion. So we have to stop and think from a different pers perspective. And those things seem to be weird. But they're not. What's weird is thinking in a straight line. <laughs> when in nature no straight line exists. <laughs> you take a speed of light traveling at 186,000 miles per second. You'd think that moved in a straight line. It doesn't. I think one of the things that uh, Einstein proved with his theory of relativity is that uh, actually he didn't prove it, another guy did. They went to somewhere, I don't know. Uh, they were having an eclipse and they wanted to see if they could see. The sun is here and there's stars behind it that if light, if space bent, you would be able to see the stars be behind the sun. So when they went into eclipse, they found that the light of the star behind the sun, 
they were able to pick up. So not even light traveling at 186,000 miles per second travels on a straight line. Nothing does. Let me rephrase that. No thing does. Not nothing, but no thing. Travels on a straight line. No thing travels on a straight line. <laughs> no thing that is natural. Yeah. All right. I'd like to thank you for your time. Enjoyed having you. Peace out.